out there, YouTube friends. I am Cindy, and this is Sincerely Cindy Settle. Today, it's a trunk club day. So if you're not familiar with Trunk Club, Trunk Club is a styling subscription box from Nordstrom. It is a $25 styling fee. Um, you get between like eight and 10 items, I believe, and then you can have some add-ons as well. Um, everything does come individually packaged, so it's everything is in plastic. Um, and before we do the reveal here, I will take everything out of the plastic. I'll show you what I have in the box. There is a, the $25 styling fee goes towards anything that you wish to keep in the box. Um, let's see what else. Oh, you do get a preview. From that preview, you can choose items that you wish to keep, and then you can give them feedback on those items or you can swap out those items for other things that they recommend. You can then um, tell them that you want them to ship the trunk as you have asked them to or you can ask them to add other items if you have decided not to keep some of the items from the preview. So I'm going to take everything out of here and I will be right back. Okay, so I have everything out of the plastic from the box. I have not pulled anything out really to look at it aside from the shoes which was kind of hard not to take a peek at. Um, I will say when I got this preview I wasn't super excited about this trunk. There were only I believe four items that I wanted to keep or that I swapped out so I did go ahead and let them add items to my trunk um, because I feel like I'm spending a $25 styling fee. I'm not just going to take those four items that I wasn't really happy with to begin with, so I went ahead and had them add some items to the trunk, and there is a note here. In You will have an envelope that has a style note that has directions on what to do next, as well as your invoice, and I will say that sometimes these items go on sale, and you can check the um, app or the website to see if the items have gone on sale. You will get that sale price. You will also have a return label as well as some tabs to secure your trunk. Everything does go back into um, the trunk and you can indicate on your app that you want FedEx to come and pick it up, set it out on your porch and FedEx will come and pick it up. Okay, so this is Danielle. Hi Cindy, I hope you and yours are doing well. My name is Danielle and I made edits to your trunk that I think you'll love including fresh dresses, fresh dresses, polished shorts from City Chic, staple wedges from Tom's, and accessories to pair with. Be sure to check out the outfits for inspiration. Don't forget to leave feedback on this trunk. It helps us better understand your style for the future. As always, keep what you love and send the rest back our way. You can make any exchanges through our app. Reach out if you have any questions. Have fun, Danielle. And of course, I will put um, the names to everything down below in the description box, as well as a description of Trunk Club and a referral code for $50 off of your first trunk. That also gives me a $50 credit as well. So if you decide to use that referral link, thank you very much. All right, so let's get into this. We first have a pair of sunglasses from Quay. And we'll go ahead and try these on because why not? They are in a nice little case and they are very sturdy, packaged very nicely. I'm almost afraid to get them out of the package because I anticipate they will probably be a little pricey. I don't know about you, but I don't spend a whole lot on sunglasses simply because I end up leaving them down at the bottom of my purse or I leave them somewhere or I break them or what have you, but we'll try these on. There you have it. They are very comfortable and very cute. We'll have to see how much they are. I'm sure that they're overpriced. If they're not, if they're over ten dollars, they're probably overpriced. <laughs> okay, I'll put these back. So the sunglasses do come with a nice little case, as well as with a cleaner cloth to clean the glasses. So that's nice. All right, let's go ahead and start with the shoes. This is the Tom's wedges that she was referring to. Very cute, very casual, could be dressed up or dressed down. I like these a lot. I told her I was looking for some black wedges, so we will see how these fit um, and see what the um, heel height is for me. And these I added to my trunk. They're just a plain white um, flip-flop flat. Um, they have a little bit of a curly cue there around the toe. I did add these simply because I need a pair of white sandals as well. And I thought these were cute. I know that squared toe is kind of the end thing right now. 
So we'll try those. All right, so we have a black top. Well, here we go. All right, so we have a cute black top here. It looks like it's got a little bit of a square neck, has some, um, some elastic up here at the top as well as around the front and the back in the neckline and some elastic around the sleeves as well. We have something that's golden here. It looks like it's going to be a dress. It is a dress, very pretty. So very pretty gold colored metallic tiered v-neck. Looks like it's going to be a maxi dress. Okay, that's pretty. Might be a little bit fancy, but we'll see. I like that collar. All right, we have a pair of white. These are um, Bermuda shorts. Um, if you guys have been following my channel, you know that I'm trying to get a little bit out of my comfort zone and try things that I wouldn't necessarily choose for myself. These are definitely something that I would not choose for myself, but they are from City Chic. They have um, zipper and then a little bit of a button fly. There's four buttons there at the waist. I don't know, we'll give them a shot. Um, then we have, these are Ab Leisure Wit and Wisdom jeans. They're like an elastic waist, nice. And they're a little bit distressed, lighter in color. They look like they are gonna be more of a relaxed fit and they have a cuff there at the bottom. They might be more of an ankle length. Again, we will see out of my comfort zone. We have a floral, couple florals here. Floral top, has some lace there, floral, some lace here on the sleeve as well. Hmm, I don't know. It might look too much like a curtain or a couch that my grandmother used to have. <laughs> ah, I like the lace though. Okay, another floral. We have a floral dress. Not sure how I feel about this print either. Um, it is a v-neck and a, looks like it is a true wrap dress. And then finally we have a bag. It's just a little tote bag. Um, it's a black tote. I'm not even sure if this is by anyone special. There is a crossbody strap as well and a bag in a bag. So you do have this small bag inside of the tote. So that's cute. All right, let's try some stuff on. Okay, we're gonna start with the dresses. So here we have the wrap dress. And I will say that the fit is fine. Um, it fits me well, it's very comfortable. I like the V-neck, I like the wrap style. It is a true wrap, so you have to take the, take the belt through the loops, that sort of thing. Um, the sleeves are very comfortable. Um, I feel like it fits me nicely in the shoulders and the, ch I mean, I feel like it fits me nicely everywhere. Um, it comes a little bit below the knee, and I'll show you that in just a second. Let me turn around and show you the back. You can probably guess what I don't like about it. I'm not a big fan of the print. Um, let me get a little bit closer so that you can see the print there. I feel like it's a little bit just too busy. It's just too much. Um, I like the pinks. I'm not sure that I like the, I don't know, the mustard, yellow, greenish color. I don't know, I'm just not a fan. I think I can do better. So here is dress number one. I'll try number two. I'll be right back. So sorry, I forgot to show you the length on this one. The length is below the knee. It's in between the knee and the ankle. It's kind of a midi length, if you will. Um, so there you can see the length a little bit. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the length either. Everything else fits okay, and the length is fine. It's just not, I don't know, just not me. All right, now we'll do the next dress. Okay, here is dress number two. Not sure that really does anything for me. I kind of feel like 
an Oscar statue. It's very comfortable. <laughs> very comfortable. The collar's very pretty. I just, it's, it's, it's got a little bit of shine to it. It's different. Um, I like the V-neck. I like that you can wear a regular bra with it. But it feels kind of like, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit too big in here. This is okay, like it covers the bra here, but it feels like it's almost too big going this way. I don't know. And it's tiered, um, and it is a maxi dress. So let me show you the back, and then I will show you the length. So, I mean, it's pretty. Um, it does have pockets. I just don't feel like it's really doing anything for me. Let me know what you guys think. All right, let's take a look at the length. So you can see it is a true maxi dress. I just have it on with a pair of flats. It would look cute with a pair of heels as well. But it's very flowy, very soft, very silky. All right, let's see what's next. Okay, next outfit. So now we have the Wit & Wisdom jeans and we have the floral top. So there are a lot of cute details about the top that I do like and then there are some items that I don't like. So let's first talk about the pattern a little bit. Let me get a little closer so you can see that. Let's see if we can focus here real quick. There we go. So the, the material is not real, real soft. It's kind of itchy, um, but it has this pretty lace right here as well as pretty lace here on the sleeves, which I like. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the pattern. I will say it does kind of remind me of grandma's couch. Um, I don't know. The, the sleeves here are a little bit tight as well in terms of the Elastic, it hits kind of at a weird spot. It's like right there below the elbow, but it wants to ride up. The poof sleeves are cute. I mean, the sleeves are cute. They're just a little bit tight. It almost, it's like they either need to be shorter or they need to be a little bit longer. Like they need to make a decision. Like they can't be right there at the elbow. So I like that a little bit, that look a little bit better. But the elastic is a little bit tight on my arms. Might not be on yours, but on my arms, it's a little bit tight. And up here is a little bit tight as well. And I don't know if it's because of that lace or if it's the bra I'm wearing. Everything else fits nicely. I feel like it looks good through the body. I feel like the length is nice. It's not too long, not too short. I like the cut of the top, but I don't like the material and I don't like the pattern. Everything else I like because it is kind of, I mean, it looks cute. This is better up here. It has a little eyelet back here and it has a button here at the top and I just accidentally unbuttoned it. Anyway, I'll turn around and let you see the back. So again, I like the, the cut and the fit, but I don't know, it just feels too snug around here and the material's just kind of itchy. All right, so let's talk about the jeans. So I am pleasantly surprised with the jeans. They are a pull-on elastic. They do have a drawstring here that tightens um, and it does come undone. Um, there is two pockets here. They function in the front, two pockets in the back as well. Um, let me zoom down or let me pan down just a little bit so that you can see the length and I will show you the back of the jeans at that point. Now you have a little bit better idea. So again, We've talked about this distressing or this shading here at the thighs before. Um, so I'm not sure that I'm a big fan of that. I do, otherwise, I do like the collar. Um, and the length is good. I feel like the fit is good. I just have to look back at the footage and see if this is going to bother me. And if it's light on the butt, which I can't really see and I didn't really look before I tried them on. But I feel like the fit is nice. They're very... They're like a relaxed or like a girlfriend or boyfriend fit. And they are more of an ankle length, which I'm not opposed to. So these could be a contender. Let me know what you guys think of these two pieces. Are they keepers? Okay, here we have the last outfit. So here is the bag. It's very cute. 
reasonably sized. It's not too big, not too small. Not really in need of a tote right now, so it's not going to be for me, but in case you guys, again, are interested in something like this, it does have some little holes here. Um, there is a magnetic tab there to close it. There is a strap as well as a small bag inside. And it looks like the straps, the long strap hooks on the inside instead of the outside, which is okay. So cute black top, square neckline, does have some elastic here at the shoulders as well as across here and on the arms. I don't know that I need another black shirt. It fits me fine. You know, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. So, it is what it is. It's just kind of, hmm. And the shorts fit me fine. Um, they fit around the waist. Like I said, they do have a short button fly here, and then they zip. They are, um, they hit me right below the knee, and I'll show you that in just a second. Um, I also have on the Tom's heels, but I'll go ahead and turn around so that you can see the back. So, not sure that it's for me. Not a fan of the below the knee kind of look. I feel like it looks a little more mature than what I'm looking for. So, let's take a look at the length and at the shoes. Okay, so here you can see the pants and the heels. I mean, I, I think it looks cute with the heels. I'm not sure that I would like it with the shorts with tennis shoes or anything else. I feel like the heels do dress it up a little bit, make it a little bit more sassier, I guess. Um, the shoes are very cute. They're actually comfortable. I, I am having a little bit of tightness there at the top of the foot, but I feel like once I wore them that that would loosen out a little bit. Um, they just have a little bit of a peep toe there. Good heel height, very secure, very sturdy. So let me know what you think of these. I've got one more pair of shoes, the flip-flops, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we have the last pair of shoes. And they're just okay. Not a huge fan. I mean, they're comfortable enough. I'm not sure how much I like the swirly foot thing there. I don't know. I'll show you a little bit better in a minute what those look like on the top. Um... You know, I'm not sure about the square toe either. I'm not sure if I'm a fan on sandals. I mean, I think I, I think I would prefer them on like boots or something, but I'm not sure about the sandals. So again, they fit me fine. I'm not feeling like anything is too tight or uncomfortable. I'm just not sure that I'm a fan of the style. So, all right, I think we are ready for a wrap up. Okay, so let's type, let's do the wrap up. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you've enjoyed this content and you will consider subscribing, liking this video, sharing with your friends, as well as hitting that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my other uploads. I do clothing hauls, unboxings, and book reviews. Most of my content has been um, unboxings at this point, so um, but stay tuned. We will have more hauls coming up. So let's go ahead and get to the prices here. I am going to use my app since that will have the most recent um, discounts or clearance items on there. So let's start with the white city chic shorts. And these are $55. These are going to be a no. I was not a huge fan. We have the gold dress. Oh, wait. No. We have the glasses. These are quay glasses. And they are $55. Um, I mean, I like them, but I'm not going to pay $55 for them. Um, then we have, let's see. We have the Black Toms, which I did like as well. These are reduced 31% off. They are currently $54.98. So those are a contender. And then we have the Black Bag. This is by street level. It is $64. And then we have the gold dress. And it is $148. That's going to be a no. The wrap dress is $79. Again, I like the wrap style, just not that one. 
the white flip-flop and let me show you that really quick so that you can see I don't know if you can see that really well um, how that twists around there on the toe and such and the square toe those are $39.95 we have the wit and wisdom jeans she says relaxed jeans are super trendy this year I like that they put little notes under each item as well that's kind of fun um, they are $88 it's a little bit high um, I do have the $25 to go towards an item so we'll see I'll take a look at the footage try one for my husband see what he thinks this is a black shirt from sanctuary it is $49 and then we have the floral top and it is also reduced by 50% it is $64.50 originally $129 that's by sanctuary so there you have it um, trunk club is pretty easy I enjoy it I think I am gonna take a little break from it I've been doing every month I think I'm gonna do every other month um, just because I haven't been getting items in it that I'm really excited about um, again I'm trying to do some of this to get out of my comfort zone and try different things but um, I also need to consider the price and Nordstrom obviously is going to be a little bit pricier so I think I'm going to go to every other month and try some other boxes if you've, been, if you've been watching my channel for a little bit I have been asking what other ones you guys think I should try um, I do have a stitch fix coming and a thread up and I think I'm going to try Natalie attire so stay tuned and check those out I do have a couple of book reviews coming up as well so I will see you guys soon. I am Sincerely Cindy Settle. I'm signing out. Mwah.